Now, let's move on to the next example on quadratic inequalities. Right, we have checked on different methods to solve the quadratic inequalities. So now, let's try another example. And I think for this example, uh, maybe you should try to use, to solve this by using the table of signs. Okay, so I will show you, you should try that first and I will show you the solution. Okay, so this one. Um, another remark for this one is it is a different case from the cases that we have looked before. Um, we have a quadratic inequality. However, the value for our x square is a negative number. So when we solve by using when we try to solve the inequalities, if possible, we don't want this to be a negative value. So what we have to do is we need to multiply by negative 1 at both sides of equations okay so multiply negative 1 at both sides so after we multiply this this equation will be x square plus 7x so positive 8 will be minus 8 and then that will be 0 and another note that you must remember here that this will be reverse okay the sign must be changed why because if you multiply by negative one at both sides we must change the inequality sign okay that is what i have mentioned in the previous um, slides okay when we started uh, the introduction so you can check that again if you don't remember so now we will proceed with our method solution so let x square plus 7x minus 8 equals to 0 okay after we have done that we try to factorize this so that will be x plus 8 and x minus 1 equals to 0 so we know that x plus 8 is equal to 0 and we also have x minus 1 equals to 0 here x will be negative 8 and x will be 1 so then we will construct our table of signs okay so remember for our table of sign we will have our different the terms that we have so do you still remember that so the first one we need to have our interval okay and then we need our test value okay and then sign for the first factor that we have that is for the x plus 8 and then we need the sign for x minus 1 lastly we need the sign for the combination of our factor okay just like that okay and then try to plot these numbers that we have so when we have two factor know that remember that we will have at least three column here okay so three parts here the first is negative 8 and this is 1 okay here put a negative infinity and on the most right put a positive infinity sign and don't remember uh, don't forget that we need to put the circle here just so that you know the intervals okay so that is an open interval that's why we put an open circle there okay so let's just try to complete this table before we proceed with our solution um, so, if we have negative 8 and 1 here, what is the number, what is the value of our interval? Okay, try to check that first. So, the intervals that you need to have are the first one. Okay, the first one is definitely we take the value on the left side. So, we have negative infinity and negative 8. So, it's an open interval here. And then we have negative 8 and 1 and lastly we have 1 and positive infinity okay 
So test value that is smaller than negative 8, maybe we can take negative 9. Between negative 8 and 1, we can simply take 0. And bigger than 1, we can take number 2. Okay, so negative 9 plus 8 is negative. Negative 9 minus 1 is also negative. 0 plus 8 is a positive. 0 minus 1 is a negative number. 2 plus 8 is 10 is a positive. 2 minus 1 is 1 also a positive. So negative negative is positive. Positive negative. Negative positive and positive is a positive value. Okay, so then we need to check for the solution, right? We need to check for the final answer. Either we want to take the positive value or the negative value. So where do we check this is from our question. However, so from our question, this is the value that we have, right? We have a positive sign. Greater than zero is a positive. Meaning if we check from this one, we have to take the positive value. These two values, right? However, for us, before we find the factor just now, the two critical values, what we did was we have already changed the sign, right? Because we multiplied it by negative 1, so the sign have changed. So actually, instead of taking the first line, we are taking this value that you have multiplied by negative 1. So we must check for... the negative sign okay so meaning our final answer will be a negative sign here that is this one negative okay we must check for the negative sign okay so final answer solution set you are already um, confident with this now so x then we take this interval in between so that is x is in between negative 8 and 1 right so easy way maybe you want to write down in interval form your answer will be just simply take this interval so that is negative 8 and 1 so that is how we solve these quadratic inequalities by using table of signs okay so i hope it's clear for you now then after this we'll check another method another questions all right now before we end our lecture today so please try to do this question and fill in the answer as a proof of your attendance for today so I hope that you are able to understand our lecture for today and I hope that our learning objective is achieved. So please check uh, your understanding and make sure that you don't hesitate to ask around if you have any problems. So see you in the next lecture. Thank you.